Okay, Microtech. This is a clone video. I'm comparing a Microtech LUDT uh, that's real versus one from China. You'll probably immediately notice some differences. These are slightly different colors and color combinations because you can get the LUDT in lots of color combinations, but I don't believe you can get this particular color from Microtech. Um, but that being said, um, I'm just going to go over you know, some of the differences I noticed. I did not disassemble either one of these because um, there's a lot of things about, said about Microtech that if you take one apart that you will um, void the warranty. So that's one thing. And then the next thing is just I'm just, uh, I'm just not into taking it apart and having it not, trying to get an automatic back together. I probably could do it, but I'm not going to chance it. Um, so both of them are green. The one that I have that's original, I bought off of Blade Forms, and it um, is um, an olive green with a stonewashed bronze blade and bronze um, hardware on it. And then the uh, fake is, you'll see it, it's a green, but it's different and, it's, and everything's different. What, I'm, what I do with these clones is I try to show something that you can immediately tell by looking at it, even on the internet that it's a clone and I found something that you can latch on to. So here's the two boxes. Uh, this one, and most people, if you know Microtech, you probably know more about this. This is the only Microtech I've ever owned. and uh, This is the clone right here. And you can see, these are UTX-85s. And I'm sorry, LUDTs, which is, stands for Large Underwater Demolition Team. So you can see that there's Chinese writing on this one and the box is just uh, this box is just it's a little different plus it's a it's a I guess it's not a different size I thought it was here's the uh, Microtech this is the real one bronze standard blade really like this knife I'm gonna be keeping it so let's open up the real one first so this is how it comes it's got this yellow thing on here I'm sure they can clone that. Some, some pretty nice foam. And you can look at the, if, you, if the foam feels cheap to you, a lot of times that's a giveaway too. But you can't tell that on the internet, of course. And you can't tell by, uh, I think that this one, the clone, may have had this in there. I'm not sure. I may have tossed it. But, uh, you know, it's a, some documentation from Microtech. I don't usually, don't get too wired up in that. Here it is. It's in, you see the type of cellophane it's in. This is substantial. It's thick and it's, it's uniform and that's how American knives or, you know, Japanese knives, something, they'll come in something like this. This will become apparent to you in a minute. So pull it out and then it's just a foam coffin in the bottom here. And you can see the lanyard. You can look at the quality of the lanyard too and kind of tell something about it. I mean, it's nice and tight and it's it was short so that it didn't dangle around and get caught on anything, you know, so there's that. And I'll show you, they couldn't even get the lanyard right. So uh, let's uh, just briefly go over this one. So this is a superb knife. It just, it is something else. Glad I purchased one of these. I've only had one other automatic knife. It was a Benchmade Bedlam and it was a, I didn't like it. But, uh, you run your fingers over it and everything about it is smooth and every edge is broken. The, the, they could have broken these edges just a hair more because there's a little bit of shelf on it. But not much. I hope this is in focus. I can't tell because I can't, it's hard for me to focus that close with my glasses on. If you run your finger across all the hardware, it's smooth. All the edges and cuts, all these uh, tri-pointed... Tri uh, screws, everything is smooth. And then the laser etching, you can't tell it's there. If you're blind and you run your finger across this, you never know it's there. These things, even though they're pointed, they're very smooth. So if you can get your hands on one, you can certainly tell with blindfolds on which is which. Uh, here's the blade, shoots out nice. The other thing about the blade is, this etching right here, you can't tell it's there either. In fact, it's not even easy to see, to be perfectly honest with you. This is just a really great knife. And uh, it was extremely rough on the button when I got it, but uh, it has since smoothed out. 
So let's go on to the clone. I don't want to make this into a super long video like I usually do. The box uh, just, you know, I want to spend an in, in, inordinate amount of time on the box, but you can see the corrugations on this box, whereas on this box, you can't. So it's highly corrugated, and it's also, it's very shiny, whereas the real box is satiny. So it's, uh, you know, it's just something about it. See the corrugations on it? And I don't know all the generations of box, but uh, there's no padding, no, uh, it's, it's, dark, it's uh, light on the inside where the other one is dark. No foam padding. Then you pull it out, and this is what you got here. Um, just a foam coffin. And this foam is very thin, and if you buy Jap uh, Chinese knives, you'll notice that. Uh, then it's got this bubble wrap, which is, for them, this is pretty good quality bubble wrap, because usually the bubble wrap is not very good quality. And then you pull it out, and here's what I was talking about, about that sleeve. Is This is what Chinese knives, they always come in something that looks like a nickel cigar came in it. It's just all wrinkly and thin and nasty. And if you smell this, and you smell this, there's a particular smell of these kind of things that come from China. All their bubble wrap and all their cellophane has a weird smell to it. Now, don't get upset Chinese people because I'm not saying you got a funny smell. I don't know. I've been around a lot of Chinese people. But, uh, but the, their packaging has a particular smell to it. And then this versus this. And this is extremely thin, and they all come looking like this, like this crinkly crap. Okay, off to the side with that. Here's the knife. And as you can tell... It, it, it's not the same color green. I mean, it's grass green. The, uh, the little carve-outs in the handle, these little ruts, are smaller and they're sh kind of, they're not as finished as, as nicely on the edges of the ruts. The other thing is the edge breaks right here. That is definitely, this is, feels rounded. You can't tell there's any edge at all. There is a slight one where it breaks over into this plane, but this has got a corner on it. It's uh, a little thinner. None of these things can you tell over the internet if someone's selling you one. One thing that you can tell is, look at that lanyard. Look what it does. It falls down and traps the blade, and if you mess with this blade much, the lanyard will do this. I mean, it's just got a mind of its own, and it gets in that position. As opposed to this one, you can see that how short that is and how long that is. So they didn't really understand the concept of a lanyard, and that now is going to go away. If anybody buys this knife, you'll just have to put up with that. Also, the paracord is really thin and feels cheap. Ow! I knew I was going to cut myself because this knife bit me the six times the first uh, couple hours I had it, and there we go, I pointed, pointed it. So here it is. And I want you to pay, now if you run your finger right there, that feels like, a, like it could cut you. It's like a razor blade. All these points and the edges of this little tri-cornered pivot screw, all these rough, 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 right here. Those three points, you could, you could slice yourself open. They did, the, you can feel the etching on it. Now on the blade etch, you can feel it too. Yeah, you can feel it. It's got a nice um, finish on the blade, stone wash. And it's, I haven't lubricated this knife, so the other one I put some Remo on it, not that it helped it much, but it's, I think just working it has helped it. So I want you to pay particular attention to the surface of this tri cornered pivot and this button. And you can see the machine engine swirls like engine turned, like an engine turned dash in a sports car. See that? And then look at this one. It's satin. You can't tell there's any machine work in this button. It's perfectly smooth and satin. You might be able to tell something about those screws too. But this one You can see the reflection going, re reflecting in the swirl where it was machined. I don't know if it was cut off of a piece of metal or if it's just they just turned it 
on something. Same thing with this thing. And then you can probably see the reflection off the points of those things that are sharp. Same thing with the back, rest of the other side of the pivot. You can see just more machine work where this is very buffed and satiny. And this, this is not too bad on the back. It's not as bad as the front. This feels super smooth. This isn't bad, but it's definitely got an edge on it. This right here, that edge right there is like a knife. This edge of this kind of curved area in there. Now, how does the knife work? Um, you know, it works pretty good. And uh, it fires. The blade is sharp. The blade is, uh, whoever ground the blade did a pretty nice job on it. This knife is for sale, by the way, because once I get them and do a video, that's it. They usually go away. I would not keep this one, but I am going to surprise myself with the next Microtech I'm about to review, and I'm going to keep it. So the blade is finished nice. It's pretty sharp. It's nowhere near the uh, original uh, LUDT sharp that I've got, my, my little OD green one. But uh, is this knife worth buying? You know, really for 40 something bucks, yeah, it is. Uh, this one, you know, close to 300. And uh, they both fire. Let's see if we can get them to fire at the same time here. That slice my hands open. I mean, they, it, they, they both work good. And I'm sure that if you open them up, the insides to them are identical. And probably the inside springs, uh, a spring that would work with this one to fix it, would probably work with this one. Uh, and I imagine that the little wrench, oh, that's, no, this one didn't come with a wrench. The little thing that handles these screws, I bought some off of uh, off AliExpress. To, if I ever have to work on this one, I bought the little sockets. But um, probably they, they would work for either one of them. Uh, like I said, this one's for sale. I think I got $43 in it, so it, you give me my $43, I'll send it to you. You don't even have to pay for shipping. Uh, I'll ship it to you if you're in the continental United States for $43. And it's yours. It's for sale. I'm not interested in keeping it. I am interested in keeping this one probably forever because it is my kind of automatic. So thanks for looking. If you have any questions, post them and I'll be sure to answer them. Uh, just... You may not get, a lot of people don't get um, PMs or comment messages off of um, YouTube for some reason. So if I don't answer you back, you know, don't give up. Uh, you may want to hit it again because uh, a lot of times I don't get them. I just, I'm sure that's with everybody. You just don't get notifications that you got comments. Thanks a lot for, for looking. And I hope this little, uh, like I said, if you can get a picture of that button right there, you can tell on the internet that these things are fake. I haven't seen any of them that didn't have the swirl in them. Right there, just look at that button. And if it's satiny finished like that, with no turn, with no turning marks, that's a dead giveaway. Thanks a lot.